This is Professor Pete Alexander with the Winning a Business and Life podcast, where business leaders share their insights. It is six questions in seven minutes because successful business leaders are busy and rarely have more time to spare. So let's get to it. Question number one, in a few sentences, please tell me who you are and what you do. Hi, I'm Sherry Fink. I write books that inspire and delight kids while planting seeds of self-esteem and high achievement. I do this alongside my husband, award-winning author, Derek Taylor Kent, under our business, Whimsical World. Sherry, it is so great to have you on the show. Question number two, what's the best thing about working in your industry? Wow, okay, so when you're a children's author, which is, by the way, one of my childhood dreams come true, you, when you get up in the morning and you go to work, kids go to bed that night believing in themselves and the infinite possibilities for their lives. And in my book, there's no more rewarding job than, than what I do today. Mm, I love that. And as a parent of a couple of children myself, I absolutely, that, that, that resonates so wonderfully with me. So thank you so much for that. Question number three, I have a fictitious book with, <laughs> that, that you can appreciate, obviously, <laughs> <laughs> which you think most companies should read. I need that book. Yeah. <laughs> I, for the, I think the chapter that would be the most valuable would be based on my own experience, walk away from what's not working faster. Mm, I like that. So yes. what, 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 what's not working faster? So can you elaborate a little bit on that? So many times as an entrepreneur and in my personal life, I have hung on to things and people and situations and partnerships that I saw a glimmer of hope, but it wasn't really working. And I wasn't being truly honest with myself or the situation. And if I had been, I could have saved myself time, money, energy, headaches, lots of drama later. If I had been willing to, for example, like cut the Facebook ad campaign early mm -hmm. when I saw it wasn't working and nothing I was doing was fixing it, stop throwing money at it, you know, walk away faster. Very wise. And it reduced that stress that's involved with it when you're worried about it and it's not working and you just get more and more frustrated. I, I assume exactly. that. Yeah. Yeah. Great advice. Question number four, other than the generic work harder, have a great attitude and care for customers, what advice or insight would you give to other business leaders? Uh, I would say the biggest thing that I've learned as an entrepreneur is energy management. Um, when I first started, I wasn't focused on, um, of course, it's fulfilling and everything, but I was saying yes to everyone all the time. And the more yeses I gave out, the more no's I had to say to myself and my, my personal life and my self-care. And what I realized now, having been in business for almost 10 years, is that you have to say yes to yourself first and be very clear on what's a hell yes versus a hell no so that you can create a lifestyle freedom, which is the whole benefit of being an entrepreneur if you allow yourself to, um, to say no to things. Mm -hmm. And I absolutely love the term, hell yes, hell no. I know exactly what you're talking about as an entrepreneur myself. So thank you so much for that. Question number five, what other business leader like yourself would you like to acknowledge and invite to be on my podcast? I would love to see Shannon Kaiser. She is an inspirational thought leader. She has, I think, four or five um, best-selling books now that are in the self-help, personal development field. And she just has this um, energy about her. It's just something about her, like just even being in the room with her, it unleashes something within yourself about what you're able to accomplish. She's, uh, she's a very high and high demand speaker and she would be amazing on your show. Wonderful. Thank you for that referral. I'll reach out to her. And our final question, question number six, please tell me about your first job. Well, my first official job was when I was 15 years old. I worked for a real estate agency. It was brand new. I grew up in a tiny town in rural Virginia. And this real estate agency was special because it was founded by women. And I worked for a team of six women. I was the administrative assistant. They got their first computer while I was working there. And I personally had never worked on a computer before. So I had very humble beginnings. So in high school, they got this computer and they just sat me down in front of it one day and said, hey, figure out how this works. 
So I played with the computer and I taught them things that I don't think either of us knew. <laughs> so it was, it was a really great opportunity to see um, female entrepreneurs like really owning their life and their business and, and to, to learn how to use a computer at the most basic level. And uh, I've never forgotten it. It's really stuck with me this all this time. What a great story. Thank you for sharing that. And Sherry, thank you so much for being on the show. How can people find you? Well, you can find me on my website at sherryfink.com. You can also find me on Twitter and Instagram at sherry underscore fink and on Facebook at Sherry Fink Fan. Perfect. This is Professor Pete Alexander with the Winning a Business and Life podcast. Thanks for listening.